Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on advanced Fortran programming. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be looking at uh, some uh, applications and how to use complex numbers in Fortran. Now, you guys know, must have been knowing that there are a few data types uh, available in Fortran like real numbers, integers. In real numbers, you have single precision that given by real and real underscore type 8, kind 8, real kind 8, and uh, kind 4, kind 8, and all, and even double precision numbers and all. And you also saw that there are logical numbers, I mean, logical statements and logical values also, okay, characters from strings, array of characters, and arrays and all, okay, just like that. You also have a new statement called as complex data type called as complex. Now what the, this does is, this is used for storing complex numbers which are both real part as well as your imaginary part. I just have a small program written over here, I'll walk you guys through. I define three complex variables A, B and D. Instead of a conventional C, I, I represent it as conven a D. Nothing more. And what I did here is that I have assigned D to be 3, comma 4. What does this mean is that D is a complex number whose value is 3 plus 4j or 3 plus 4i where 3 is the real part and 4 is the imaginary part coefficient of the imaginary part simple as that now this is the notation in which you have to define a complex number all right suppose if this part is a real part like that all you have to do is put the put the decimal down put the period and start writing the decimal part decimal part of it similarly both but by default Com uh, complex statement assume complex statement assumes the values to be real. So by default, it assumes to be real. So even if you give an integer kind of an input like this, it'll take it as um, a real number. Each and e both the real part as well as the imaginary part is taken as a real number. So, so that's how it is. Okay. Now I define three formats here. Now format 10 is used for printing the number, complex number, so the, uh, asking for a print, uh, telling the user to print the complex number, print, uh, enter the complex number 1 or 2 or like that, and then read uh, this format, this format is used for reading the data from the user, especially the complex number format. This 15 is used for printing it in a specified format, we'll come to that. Now what I do here is that using this format 10, format 10, I'm printing and telling the user to enter the first complex number and using format 20 I'm reading the first complex number similarly I'm getting the second com printing this uh, telling the user to give the second complex number reading the second complex number and without any formatting I'm printing how printing the uh, uh, complex number D and now I'm printing the complex number A and complex number B in uh, separate lines using this format 15 here what it the numbers will it will be like this the complex number one is within brackets the numbers in the part the real part and the imaginary part and the according according in the correct places like that it will print and here I just use the print statements to uh, to print the standard uh, multiplication standard operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division of complex numbers here what I did is that I've, indica I've indicated the real numbers, how to find the real part of the complex number, imaginary part of the complex number, the complex conjugate of the ma uh, re I mean, complex conjugate of the uh, complex number, and then the absolute value or the modulus of the complex number. I define them using these functions over here. Real, real gives the real part. Image gives the imaginary part. Con, con, uh, con gj, conjg, whichever you call it. Okay, this function returns the complex conjugate of the number you enter in, and this function returns the modulus operation, wherein it squares the real part and uh, squares the imaginary part, adds these two, and it, it takes a square root of this sum and returns it. So it's the absolute value. And then here, okay, this uh, division, the division of a, uh, the division of complex numbers a by b. What we do generally is that we uh, multiply and divide the conjugate of the denominator conjugate of the den conjugate of the denominator okay for a division like a, a divided by b 
especially if the numbers are complex and then that is proceeded so that the in the denominator we don't have a complex number at the, we don't have a complex number at the denominator that's how we do uh, and uh, that is what i've written over here the division of a by b a, by a and b by comp by functions is a star con j, j g b divided by uh, b star con j g b j g b okay Sim, uh, so we'll see how this statement over here and this statement differs all right and that's all i have for this program now let's see let's run this since this is a simple program i can use genie itself to compile build and run this so f8 to compile f9 to build and f5 to execute okay the terminal shows up here and there are a few things you have to tell since you have written the format over here in this form what you have to suppose if you just type a value and press enter it will not take the imaginary part it will just take the value as it is okay uh, and it will just go to the next number so if i were to type enter again that's it it just goes and because of this because of this thing if you guys just compare uh, let's like comparing our program this statement's printed over here d prints nicely okay when, when no formatting is given here d gets printed in a standard complex number formatting without the i but within pra with as a pair as a pair complex numbers get printed as a pair now what does this does is that when the comp the here when complex number in this line and com okay let me keep this both when com when complex number a is printed it's printed with as point triple zero i mean double zero double zero four comma zero and b is printed as double zero double zero five comma zero but this is not what we entered it's we entered four and five here this reason is because of the formatting we introduced while saving the values and that has to be taken into consideration okay when you enter a format you have to give it a period sim period uh, symbol and all to make ensure the formatting was right and that's the thing and uh, this addition subtraction stuff we look at we look at it with the proper data all right now this being done let me just execute this again okay now this time let me be smart enough and type 4.5 i can give a space or a comma now I'll give space and then next step the next value like 8.9 okay now it's throwing an error why it's because that space cannot be taken obvious I think it cannot be taken if I were to execute this again execute this again now instead of uh, space let me type 4 comma 5 sorry 4.5 uh, comma 8.9 enter it accepts so imagine so when you write this kind of formatting give a comma that's important if you're entering multiple values comma is better rather than space all right and uh, 7.8 comma uh, 6.3 uh, yeah comma 6.6.3 okay press enter there it does everything it does everything what we said okay d is printed nicely the top the complex number one is 4.5 comma 8.9 these trailing zeros is because of the formatting we use nothing more okay number one and two are got printed sum of a and b is 12.3 comma 5 point it's actually 16 if my yeah, let's see the uh, let's see 8 8 plus 6 is 14 15 point so it's 15.2 uh, there might be, there might be, you know, these are just uh, memory allocation issues, but I mean, not much of a big, not much of a big, big sense, not much of a big deal, okay, guys, it just prints that number properly, this might be, this might be because of, you know, formatting issues, nothing more, when you guys give some formatting, there must be, there are some adjustments done to the number to print it, but the value remains the same, while some adjustments are being done on the background, a uh, new copy and then they get printed over here so might get some issues like that and then the difference between a and b is this that's fine if you guys work the math mathematics out it will be it will be the same it will be fine the product is also the product will be the same just like how we do in the normal complex multi multiplication stuff and the division happens like that okay we look at we look at uh, how the we look at the last line and if you guys look at it the last line look at the, looking at this answer over here the last line answer over here well they're the same is it 
more or less more or less they're the same the last few digits might vary because of precision and all we kept we kept this to be the real the real value mm, complex numbers of type 4 kind 4 so in the last few digits you might have some uh, inaccuracy but on uh, the overall the answer remains more or less the same at, the, at least in the first few significant digits are correct now if we just increase if we just increase the uh, precision then this result will be fine and now let's look at the, these lines the imaginary the C in C okay or okay I just wrote C but anyway it's actually D the real part of this D number is 3 and it's printed over here the imaginary part is actually 4 it gets printed over here the conjugate of 3 comma 4 is actually 3 comma minus 4 which is printed here which is nice and the absolute of C is 5 which is actually the modulus which is actually 3 square plus 4 square the square root of 3 square plus 4 square so it's 5 and it's perfectly fine well that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial and uh, this is the basics of uh, complex numbers and how to use them in Fortran okay thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys next tutorial and if you guys able to understand this this is how it will go on for all the tut for all the other complex uh, complex numbers and operations also so see you guys